Here we go again with the Trademo show with Matthias and Sebastian. Today with the different Matthias. <laughs> Matthias K. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Enjoying the last summer day, you know, sunny days, not summer days. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, today we're talking about um, why Q4 has created the most trading millionaires. Well, why is that? Tell me in an easy sentence, Matthias. The easiest sentence is that it's proven that since let's say 19 what is it 1986 um the s&p 500 and all other indices are rising mm -hmm. the last three months of the year so quarter number four uh the fourth quarter is the best quarter of the whole trading year so here i have a chart that shows this so what can you see on this chart basically from 1986 to 2016 they have taken all of the data of the u.s stock market together so how has the 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 stock index developed in a certain month now from basically in the average month from 1986 to 2016 you can see that the the highest value increase has happened basically in November and December and in October, end of October. It, that is in the US. No? Um, yeah. Oh, well, so we can, we can, can also see, see this in, in German indices. I mean, the, the first quarter also looks good, like from January to April, basically. But then we have this long summer stagnation historically with the, the worst time, basically, from if you invest in July and sell in October you're the you're in the worst position and from October to December yeah that's when you have the chance for real intense rallies now let's take a look at today's charts and um, identify which markets are behaving in this way so here we have the S&P 500 and um, yeah you can see that actually it seems like we have already started this process that's why one of the questions here basically is, has the year-end rally started? And this is, um, yeah, one question I have for you, Matthias. Yeah, I mean, I'm waiting uh, for a breakout in the DAX, but uh, S&P also tries to break out as far as it's here right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, maybe it started. I mean, the funny thing is that where we normally have the, yeah, let's say the, the, the worst month, um, for example, in, in the DAX, we had, I think, August was the best month of the year. Mm -hmm. So basically, sometimes, yeah. Let me Statistic. switch here to the DAX. So here yeah, you can see basically that uh, August was pretty horrible, but then uh, September, uh, like end of, end of August was here, the golden moment from end of August to today. Mm -hmm. It's basically been rallying the German market. Yeah, and I had my first small position today, today, but I closed it break even because, yeah, as as you can see, it yeah, didn't start rallying. Could also be a turnaround day according to this chart. Um, we have a so basically to to sum up this this part about the indices, um, you are not sure yet if it will be if it if the year end rally has kicked off yet or if part of it has already happened. I'm I'm just waiting for for a set of I wouldn't go long market right now because mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen but at a, at breakouts I will try to buy it. Okay, so just to translate it for people that are not like used to all the trader slang yet, basically Matthias says that he he has a he has the expectation that there will be a year end rally and that it has already started, but he wouldn't go along right now he would wait for a confirmation that this breakout here or this breakout attempt that you can see here for example in the DAX uh, will actually continue upward so he will wait for it to push upward and then buy but then also close his position if it doesn't follow through and goes back to the initial level is that correct Matthias that's correct okay <laughs> cool let's look at another market that looks like a pretty sure breakout at the moment or let's say the breakout here has already happened um, and we see profit taking right now and that is the crypto market and here especially Bitcoin so we see an extreme Bitcoin dominance at the moment so if you compare 
how much um, crypto investors are invested in Bitcoin versus the other currencies, then Bitcoin is here everybody's darling right now. The last two days have basically seen an increase from f from by from 4,800 to 5,800, so intense, um, more than 20% move here over the last two days. And now, Friday, it's, yeah, on, on our demo account here, I am um, positioned short, as you can see, so I expect some profit-taking here. Um, as a lot of the these moves have been speculative for for the China uh, based on expectation that in China the 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 lift would be banned on uh, uh, the, the, the the cryptocurrency ban would be lifted and that um, we would see more cryptocurrency investments from China again and also there are a lot of forks coming up in other altcoins and um, basically this has driven a lot of people into the Bitcoin. Um, market and yeah I would be careful here in going long at this point but if you have it already and pursue your hodl strategy then that uh, is not necessarily a mistake that uh, yeah but that's that's basically the current situation as I see it there but maybe we also have opinions from people who have joined live um, about this I'm not sure um, let me just check it briefly Okay, if there are any comments, guys, let me know. I'm always curious to interact with you. Okay, um, then let's take a look at another potential breakout, and this is the trade desk. You can see right now 67. This is, in fact, actually right now the breakout. Um, if this doesn't come down again to 66, then this is a hot recommendation. Um, well, it's not a recommendation, guys. <laughs> And this is, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, for educational purposes, uh, this can be a really interesting um, point to see a stock that is in a breakout pattern, basically. So if you were to trade this, then you can see I've increased the position on our account here. We already entered down here at 55 and increased the position now because it looks like this breakout is continuing. And that is definitely exciting. But if you are trading it, it's at your own risk, as always, during this show. Okay. Um, I think that's it from us for now. If there are any more questions or comments, just send them to us, support at tradingmo.com, or put them into the comments. You can also do so after the show, and we will get back to you. Okay. Have a good one, guys. And thank you, Matthias, for today. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye.